First string, can you tell us what items you think Congress should be spending money on and what things Congress should not spend money on? So the question is, what programs should Congress spend money on and what programs we should not spend money on? Well, it doesn't have to be programs. It can be, you know, whatever, what what's, whatever items Congress okay. should spend money on. Well, as I said before, I think that every dollar that we spend must be an investment. We need to invest in the American people. We need to invest in American jobs, American education. Because when we do that, we get a stronger return on our dollars. We actually generate more revenue. We encourage business growth. People start their own company. As far as programs to cut, I think we can start with the IRS. You know, IRS has 114,000 employees. They have a $11 billion budget. I mean, there were 900 amendments just in the last, just last year alone, to the federal tax laws. And I mean, big bureaucracy exists in Washington. And I mean, when you go and you visit there, I mean, it takes 20 people to answer one question. And I think that we can also cut a lot of the federal jobs. You know, that would be great savings right there. Number one thing is eliminating these earmarks. You know, a lot of these elected officials, they get power by promising people, their campaign donors, that they can work with them, and then they, you know, they go, I mean, do we really need, you know, a, a pig farm museum in Arkansas? You know, do we need to spend $10 million on that? And there's a lot of earmarks, a lot of wasteful spending right now in Congress, and we need to really itemize our budget, run government like a business, you know, if we don't have the money, we just don't spend it. We need to have smarter spending. We need to hold government accountable for our spending. Thank you. Okay, so for the next eight years, would you like John McCain, Hillary Clinton, or Barack Obama to manage your investments? No. <laughs> okay, government cannot be an investment because it has nothing to do with business. And it can't be run like a business because it has nothing to do with a business. A business has to earn your money through trust provision of a good service. If the government fouls up, they get the money anyway. They take it for its fines and imprisonment for you. The government and business are not alike. They have nothing to do with one another. A business must earn your trust or you can walk away. The government can take your money anyway. So when you hear these platitudes about investment through government or running the government like a business, look somewhere else, please. What should government be spending on? And certainly at the federal level, almost nothing. Defense of the country, not running the world. And the only other place that, besides the post office that the federal government has any actual legal authority to get involved with is to see who votes. Read the Constitution carefully. It doesn't talk much about immigration. It talks about naturalization. Who has the right to vote? These are very important issues, who has the right to vote. So the federal government needs to focus, like a laser beam, on who has the right to vote and stop worrying so much about building fences. And defend our country and not run the world. Because when we reduce the federal government to this little level, when we make it a servant, not a master, we actually have a chance to reduce the corruption that is involved at that level. We actually have a chance to have it maybe do something right. Thank you. Put over Congress.com.